Hello everyone, this is The Overmind, and I am making videos again. It's been about a year since my last video, and uh, I've had to take care of a few things, but I just got a beta invite for Reaper of Souls in my email, so I thought I would start making videos again and share the beta content with you guys. This first video, I'll just be going over what's new to the expansion, and uh, more videos will be following shortly thereafter. So let's see what's new. First off, we have a new class, the Crusader. Impenetrable armor, gleaming weapons, and heavy damage. Wield the power of the Crusader, the unbreakable new hero of the mortal realms. That'll be pretty exciting. I'll probably do a video series playing with the Crusader from level 1, self-found, all the way up through Act 5. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, we also have, of course, Act 5. Battle against Malthiel and a host of deadly new enemies throughout the all-new Act 5. That will be my next video. I'll probably play through Act 5 with my monk, just to uh, check out the new story content. We have a new adventure mode. Explore the world of Sanctuary in an endlessly repeatable mode. Complete bounties and open Nephilim Rifts to earn new rewards. I'll do another series based on Nephilim Rifts and bounties alone. Uh, we also have a new artisan, the Mystic. Customize your equipment by allowing it to take on different looks or re-roll an item's existing attributes. This will basically make it to where you can get much more powerful items a lot easier. Uh, if you have, say, a pair of gloves that has attack speed, crit chance, and crit damage on it, as well as your main stat, but then, say, it rolled extra health from health gloves, which is something you might not want. You can pay gold to the Mystic and try to get maybe Vitality or something of other use, like Pickup Radius, on those gloves to make it a better item. We have uh, Loot 2.0. Sending the minions back to hell has never been more rewarding. In addition to loot drops being of an overall better quality, a new smart loot system means that these items are more likely to be usable by your hero's class. Uh, this will raise the chance, basically, of you getting good items that you can use because you won't get, if you're a barbarian, say, you won't get as many items dropped that have intelligence as their main uh, primary stat. So you'll get more use out of a lot more of the stuff that you pick up. Uh, new difficulty settings. The difficulty and monster power systems have been streamlined. Normal Nightmare and Hell no longer exist. Interesting. Uh, instead, monsters levels will now scale with your hero's level. Okay, so I guess this basically means that the game will always be a challenge for you, no matter where you go or what level you are. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, we have updated Paragon levels. Paragon levels no longer have a cap, and Paragon XP is now shared among all of your characters. Additionally, each level awards points that can be spent on improving your hero's attributes. Okay, so I'm assuming that whenever you gain a Paragon level, you just have points from your Paragon levels that you can give to any of your characters? We'll have to look into that and see how it works out. And then finally, we have Social, Clan, and Communities. Create clans with your friends to get access to a shared chat channel as well as receive notifications when they complete achievements or obtain legendary items. That'll make it a lot easier to brag to your friends about cool stuff that you find. Uh, communities allow you to be a part of larger groups such as fan sites and forums. Though you can only be a member of one clan at a time, you can join multiple communities. This is something that you're definitely going to want to do because of the fact they're taking down the auction house. Uh, you can trade with people a lot easier if you get into communities, let alone uh, share strategies and whatnot and how to play through the game. Uh, that about wraps it up for what's new in the expansion. Uh, I'll end the video here and my next video Hopefully won't take another, but another couple of days to upload, and uh, we'll play with my monk through Act 5. Alright, thanks for tuning in guys, and I'll uh, see you in a little bit.